Welcome back to my channel. This is part 3 of module 3 of grade 12 business mathematics solving problems involving percent or percentage. Muli kung bago ka lang sa aking channel, mag-subscribe ka na at hit mo na rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod na videos at syempre para tuloy-tuloy ang iyong pag-aaral. Let's start. Percent is a ratio whose second term is 100. Percent means per hundred. Percent comes from the Latin phrase percentum, which means per hundred. And the following are examples of percent. And now, it's time to solve some problems involving percent. Problem number one. Ronnie buys 5 pens and 3 pencils for a total of 90 pesos. If he gets a discount of 15% in the total sales, how much does he has to pay? For number one problem, we have 90 pesos is the total of 5 pens and 3 pencils. And you will be having a discount of... 15 percent so what shall we do first is 90 times 15 percent will be changed into decimal move two places to the right to the left so we have 0 0.15 then multiply 0 0.15 times 90 0 9 times 5 is 45 9 times 1 is 9 plus 4 is 13 then 1 2 one two so we have a discount of how many 13 pesos and 50 cent then to get how much he will pay we have 90 minus 13.50 add to zeros so we have 0 10 is 5 9 minus 3 is 6 8 minus 1 is 7 so he will pay 76 pesos and 50 cents paid by Ronnie problem number 2 the selling price of the smartphone is 8,750 with a profit of 20%. What was the original price of the smartphone? In problem number 2, the cell phone is 8,750 with a profit of 20%. Meaning, this 8,750 the price of cell phone is already 120% including the profit. To solve for the 100%, what shall we do is 8750 equals 120% of the original price or let's say the original price with a variable x. So we have 8,750 equals change to decimal 1.2x. Divide both sides by 1.2. So we have 8,750 divided by 1.2. So 8,750 divided by 1.2. Move 1. Move 1. And add 1, 0. So we have 87 divided by 12 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry 1. 84 minus 3. 35 divided by 12 is 2. 2 times 12 is 24 minus 1 and 1. Bring down another 0. So we have 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 108. So we have 2. Bring down the last zero is equal equal to one. 
1 times 12 is 12, 18, 8, 0 divided by 12 is 7 or 6 only. The price is 7,291.60 is the initial price. Problem number 3. Henry wants to buy the car for 1,450,000 pesos. He has a coupon says that he will only pay the car at 70%. How much will he pay for the car? For number 3, the price of the car is 1,450,000. His coupon says that he will only pay the car for 70%. So we have 1,450,000 times 70% is 0 0.72 decimal. So let us multiply. 1,450,000 times 0 0.7. 1, 2, 3, 4. 7 times 5, 35. Carry 3, 7 times 4, 28. Plus 3, 31. Carry 3, 7 plus 3 is 10. 1, 1. So we have 1 million and 15,000. This is what Henry paid for the car of having a coupon says that it will be paid only for 70%. Problem number four, Brent loaned the amount of 6,000 pesos in a bank that offers 7.5% interest per year. How much was the interest after three years? In number four, just because it is dealing with interest, so let us recall the formula for interest for our, from our past mathematics. Interest equals principal times rate times time. In our problem, the principal is 6,000. The rate is 7.5%. The time is for 3 years. So we have 6,000. Change percent to decimal, move two places. So we have 0 0.0. 75 times 3 multiply 0 0.075 times 3 3 times 5 15 carry 1 21 22 1 2 3 1 2 3 so we have 6000 times 0 0.225 then multiply 0 0.225 times 6000 1, 2, and 3. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry 3. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Carry 1. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So, the interest for 3 years is 1,350 pesos. Fifth and last problem for this video. A motorcycle can travel an average of 135 kilometers in a full tank of unleaded gasoline. How many kilometers if an efficient motorcycle can travel 20% farther in a full tank of unleaded gasoline? In this uh, problem number 5, we can attack in two ways. The first one is... It said that one full tank travels 135 kilometers. But an efficient motorcycle can travel farther pa of 20% to 135. Another one, it can be 135. 
this is equivalent to 100% in 1 full tank plus of 20% so meaning if your motorcycle is said to be efficient it can travel 120% of 1 full tank so here we have 135 kilometers times 120 percent so we will solve this too if we will arrive at the same answer so 135 plus 135 change this to a decimal one two so you have 0 0.2 135 times 0 0.2 10 carry one seven and two so we have 27 so 135 plus 27 kilometers equals 162 kilometers travel by an efficient motorcycle Here we have 135 move two places to become decimal. So 135, 1.2, 0 is 7, 2, 5, 3, and 1, 0, 2, carry 1. 6, 1, oh, so you have also 162 kilometers travel by an efficient motor cycle. If you will notice, we have the same answer, but we attack this in two ways. So that is how to solve using percent. Muli po kung nakatulong at nagustuhan ang video na to, please like. At kung gusto nating makatulong din sa iba, please share.